yes, I'd just got a job in photography and he said, I've got to take the, the Beatles. And quite, you didn't, I don't know, the Beatles, yes. Yes. It was a Thursday and I, Western in those days on a Thursday afternoon was like a death town. Everything closed down, but I managed to find the shop underneath us was the post office. I saw the person going into there. I know his brother ran an, a record shop. I managed to get him to go and open up the shop so that I could get by the album for 32 and 6 so I could get it autographed, which I did do. And then we turned up and the, uh, I, the boss took the photographs and he allowed me to take one. Well, press the button, you know. The, it was 2.30 in the afternoon and I ca no, I came back, I had tickets for the Friday. I came back on the Friday and watched, watched the show and then got the, uh, got the, the tickets for the, the late performance because they were doing two performances at that time. Jerry, uh, Jerry and the pacemakers were, uh, I think they closed the first half. And it was Sons of the Piltdown Men, uh, Tommy Quickly and the Remo Four, who became, the Remo Four became Silla Brack's backing group and then became Ashton Gardner and Dyke. Uh, you've got to remember back in 63 to travel to Bristol to see something it was quite a trek to do for teenagers. To have someone atop the top act in the country down there, you're going to attract all the young people down, down there. You couldn't hear. You could just about hear the guitar rift in um, Twist and Shout. Well, no, a couple of times you could hear, when they did s slower numbers, you could hear. It was, it was fairly equal. Well, you've got to remember that at that point in time, it would be unusual for a girl to go on her own or to go with uh, friends to something. You'd always have a chaperone, and a, a male or something. I mean, the Beatles being down here for a week, you've got a lot of the top photographers coming down to, to take photographs, and some of the iconic photographs were taken down, down here. The Beatles on the, uh, jumping up in their um, Victorian bathing costumes, the, uh, on the seafront, down by the rocks, on the go-karts at Breen. When Eric Idle did the Ruttles, he came down and recreated all the photographs, but the only one he couldn't do was the uh, one on Breen, because the go-karts weren't there anymore.